Hi everyone, it's Allison. I have a Trader Joe's haul for you today. I spent $181.89. Um, I think I got a lot for what I spent. I was pretty happy with um, how I did today and everything that I got. I didn't go with a plan. I, I really should start meal planning. I've tried it off and on in the past and it just hasn't worked out for me. So unfortunately I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and then I end up buying things I don't need and things to snack on. But um, in my last uh, little Target haul that I had, I explained the, the this bug that we all had and power outage and everything. Well, since then, we've kind of let go of the whole paleo thing. We did it for a little while. We said we wanted to do it for just a little while, and it just kind of happened naturally. So um, I'm not saying we won't go back to that. It's just this haul isn't paleo. So um, if you were looking for that, I apologize. But there, there are some things. I mean, I did try to make good choices with the things that I got. I did get a couple bad things, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with, with what I went ahead and got. Um, so I'm going to start over here at the refrigerated items and frozen foods. Got the orange peach mango. I love this juice. If you have not tried it, you need to. <laughs> um, it's delicious. Uh, uh, organic whole milk, half gallon of organic 1% milk. Nate likes whole milk and I like 1% um, milk, so I get both. Two things of the organic half and half. Um, they don't have a... What is this? This is a pint. They don't have the quarts of half and half organic that I saw at my Trader Joe's. So I don't know. Do they sell those? Um, I got these two cultured coconut milk yogurts. One is blueberry and one is vanilla. Nate really loves anything coconut. I think I've explained that before. So I went ahead and I've mentioned these before to him, but um, I've never gotten them for him. So I went ahead and picked those up for him to try. Um, this buffalo style chicken wrap, I went hungry <laughs> and so I'm going to have this for lunch, but it's blue cheese dressing, spicy chicken with celery and a tomato wrap. So I don't know if it's going to be any good. It's probably not bad, not good for you, but, um, it is, it's not going to focus, but it's 310 calories with the dressing. Yeah. 16 grams of fat. It's not good for you, but whatever. Um, this Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter, we try to use this. I use regular butter generally when I'm baking, but we try to use this for, like, cooking and other things. So, um, Kate's Place, I, she always gets this garlic and herb pizza dough, so I picked that up. Um, I also got a regular, um, we really like their pizza dough. I got it a couple weeks back, and, um, it was really good. I've just tried the regular, though, so we're going to try this as well. Uh, the cheese tortellini, I wanted to try those, so I just got one package of those. A pack of the um, fancy shredded light Mexican blend. Um, I don't really need fancy, but I do like the Mexican blends. Um, spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. If you have not tried this, you have to try this with veggies or pita chips or you know whatever you like to dip things in. I like carrots, celery, radishes all that kind of stuff. It is so good. So you should really try that. And I think it's like 250 or something. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have my receipt in front of me, but, um, and I got, I also got a package of the cottage cheese, whole milk cottage cheese. It says 4% milk fat, but I think that's whole milk. Um, so I got that. It's for a uh, baby food recipe. So I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. I also picked up um, some frozen peas. I wanted organic frozen peas, but this is all they had. I don't know. They don't say organic, so whatever. They're petite peas. Um, for baby food, they had the frozen kale, so I'm excited to put these in our smoothie. I got some mahi-mahi two fillets for dinner. I think Nate will try that. He's not a big fish guy, so but I think he'll like mahi-mahi. Uh, maybe I'll do tacos or something. Uh, pineapple tidbits. Those are actually kind of hard to find, the frozen ones for smoothies. I, I couldn't find them at my other grocery store, and so they had them there. Um, I'll keep going with the frozen stuff. I love Indian food, and 
this stuff is really easy. Like on a night, Nate isn't going to be home. He goes out to client dinners a lot and things. So I just kind of throw this in the microwave. It's easy for me. Um, I got a package of naan. I think there's four pieces in there. And then two of the chicken tiki masala dinners. Um, comes with rice and the chicken. And they're good. They're not, you know, amazing, but they're good. Um, chicken and cheese tamales, cheese enchiladas, and chicken enchiladas. Figured we could have those one night for a quick, you know, night where I'm at work until 8 o'clock. <laughs> um, some grape tomatoes for uh, this farro salad I'm going to make. Some baby beets. These are already ready to go. Throw those in a salad. Blackberries. Strawberries. Some uh, smoothies, yogurt smoothies, the organic wild berry. I really like those kind of yogurts. So some bananas, some that are already ready to go, and then some are still green. So I wanted some for baby food and for us. Some pears for baby food. They didn't have organic pears. So two packages of carrots, two packages of the parsnips. Uh, we like to roast some root vegetables, so um, then I keep them in the refrigerator to reuse. Organic green beans, Persian cucumbers for the farro salad, uh, cruciferous, am I saying that right? Crunch, it's like a crunchy salad mix. It's got kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. So I like to throw that in with regular salad. I like a little crunch. Uh, organic romaine hearts, organic broccoli florets, shaved Brussels sprouts, and a bag of organic baby spinach. Uh, some organic sweet onions, some organic sweet potatoes, Ooh. some pink lady apples. They did not have organic apples, organic lemons, some mandarins. And that is all the produce. Okay, this stuff I'd like to talk about for a second. Hot and sweet mustard. I got two jars of that. It is so good. Have you guys ever tried this before? Let me know. How do you eat it? I buy these uh, frozen sausages, and I'll take those to work with me, and I just dip this in there. It's kind of like just a dipping sauce, but it's really good. It's really good. It's just like, like Chinese hot mustard that you would get, but it's yummy. I'm sure you could probably dip like pretzels or whatever in there. Uh, this stuff I had never, I think I've seen someone get it before, but I had never seen it at ours, our Trader Joe's. It's organic brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta. It's gluten-free. Um, I've had the brown rice fusilli pasta, but never the brown rice and quinoa. So um, I think the lady at the thing said that it's it's really, really good, but she said the carbohydrates are kind of high in it, but it's still not bad for you. It's like 200 calories for a cup, so that's not bad. Uh, better than regular pasta, right? Uh, we got a container of dog treats, the peanut butter flavored ones, um, two packages of Altoids. Oh, this is different too. Trader Joe's fig butter. Um, my Nate really loves fig, so I, he has another spread that he has in there. I thought I got that for him to try. I wanted to try some different salsa, the pineapple salsa. Never had that before. Yeah, I know. Cookie butter. Why do they put that out? I mean, it's right there in front of your face half the time. It's so good. Um, these are upside down, but the white cheddar puffs. Uh, some pretty, pretty flowers. Some farro. It's the 10-minute farro. This stuff is so good. Have you ever had it? I do the great baby tomatoes and baby cucumbers and chop those up and put it all in there. It's really good, refrigerated. Just a, another coconut sugar when I run out. Um, my sister-in-law had these the other day, and they're really good. They're kind of expensive. It's like 7 bucks, but it's kind of a big bag of cashews. Cashews are expensive, and they're whole, and they're, like, dusted in this coconut sugary goodness. Um, quarter cup, there's 160 calories, so... Seven grams of sugar. I don't know. They were good, though, so I got that for a snack. Uh, crumpets, I love those with peanut butter toasted in the morning. Some corn and wheat tortillas. Some flour tortillas. The um, dried apricots I'm making. This is for baby food. There's, like, a recipe I have. Some soft and juicy mango just for a snack. 
some chocolate, crispy rice milk chocolate, and just regular milk chocolate. And I think that's everything. Did I get everything? Because last time I missed like four things. I think I did. So yeah, for 180 bucks, a little over, I think I got a lot of stuff. Made some decent choices, some bad choices, but that's what happens whenever you go to the grocery store hungry. So, um, all right, well, I'm going to get all this put away and eat my buffalo chicken wrap, and I will see you all for the next haul. Talk to you later. Bye.